Srihanan. I'm studying in class 4C at Gems United Indian School. I have prepared a math project on the topic data handling. I have used a high performance learning creativity to prepare this math project. What is data handling? Data handling is the process of gathering information and data in a way that is helpful to others. For example, representing data in charts or graphs. Now that you have understood what is data handling, I have prepared a small problem statement for you. The problem statement is, in a school, an Earth Day Science Expo was being held. The project topics were given to the students as save water, save electricity, air pollution, noise pollution and clean campus. I have prepared a bar graph and pie chart on the number of students who have participated in each project. What is an bar graph? An bar graph uses rectangular bars which can be both vertical and horizontal and the vertical ones are most commonly called column charts. They have two axes, one is horizontal and one is vertical. The horizontal axis displays the number, the data items. The vertical axis displays the number of data items. Now for time for the pie chart. What is a pie chart? A pie chart is a circular way of representing data. A pie chart is a circle divided into its whole and its parts. A circle is divided into its parts depending on the data items. Now, as you can see, I have used the HPL meta thinking and strategy planning to prepare this. This is a pie chart based on the same question as a bar chart. But the, the difference is instead of using numbers, I have used percentage. You may be wondering how do we calculate the percentage? It is very simple. First we calculate the total number of students who were involved in each project. Then we calculate the total number of students who are involved in each project. Then divide the number of students to the total number of students. Then we will get the percentage. For example, the save water category there are 16 people who are number of students who made the project save water. Then we have the total 47 the number of students. So 16 number of students divided by 47 number of students equals to 34. So it has to be 34 percentage. And we can use this in real life situations. Like in we can represent data in office meetings, we can keep track of our data in our weeks and we can also see how much we can improve. I have used the overall HPLs, creativity, realizing, analyzing, meta thinking and strategy planning. I hope you enjoyed my project and I hope it is, this video is hopefully helpful to you. Thank you.